Yep. All right, this is Music and Message, and this is Promises to Keep. I'll be still know you are there and try to do the next thing right. Show up for me in the breeze and the light. Even shining in the day and the night. Oh, I finally figured out what it's all about. How we all fall short of glory. But that's why you died. So I'll tell the old, old story and the lie. Well, I woke up and I looked all around. And the whole world was fast asleep. Now one day they'll see the light stream down. Our promises, oh promises to keep. And have promises, oh promises to keep. Show up for me in love and mercy and in your spirit chills. Won't you please make the thunder roll? When I'm coming home, I'm coming home for I will. I know, I know I'm never alone, but remind me as I go with treasures snow in your thunder and your breeze and I'll be still and I woke up and I looked all around and the whole world was fast asleep no oh, one day they'll see the light Promises to keep And that promises Oh, promises to keep It's all about you I keep pointing to you Jesus And your power Your power Resurrection Oh, it's all about you I keep pointing to you frantic paced world have you ever just sat still calmed down for a minute and knew it was going to be all right all my life i've heard of people say that they knew that everything was going to work out while at times everything in life and the evidence is against all that everything seemed to be against that statement but those people that told me this said it was such confidence that I knew it was their reality, that it was going to be all right for them. 
And come to think about it, I examined their lives and even their deaths, and it was all right for them. What they had was a firm faith that even though we all don't do life completely right, that we all fall short of glory, of God's glory, that it's worth trying, it's worth trying to do it right. I'm a physician and these things people tell me about, the, even about at the time of dying, around their time of dying, they go right down the Ten Commandments, adultery and theft, and, and, a, and, a, and a part of them knows that that they live part of their life as a lie. But who does life completely right? Nobody does life completely right. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they feel they need to have to confess even. And who am I um, to hear such things? We all fall, fall short of God's glory. So what's the answer? The answer is found in the person of Christ who loves us and died for us and forgives us. And this, and it paid the debt for our sins on the cross. So this relationship with him allows us to turn towards him and away from the wrong way of life and be forgiven, to know that we're worth something. And this power of resurrection can bring us back in life and give us freedom from the bondage of, of, of sin, the wrong way that we were going. It's by grace that we're saved, by faith, not by anything that we do, but since we are saved and we pass from death into life, and we're given such a gift of life, we want to pass it on. The wages of sin is death, and we get rescued from the eternal consequence of that sin. We get forgiven. Often we look around and we, in such an experience of being born again, and we, it, and we wake up, and look around, it seems like everybody's asleep. The whole world's asleep. And you want to wake him up. <laughs> Jesus is in the Garden of Gethsemane, getting ready to get crucified for you and me and our sins. And he just wanted to, someone to stay up with him, to be near him. And his, and his friends to be near him. His disciples went to sleep. And, he, and, he, and Matthew 26, 33, it's, it reads, and he comes to his disciples and he finds them asleep. And he says unto Peter, what, you couldn't watch for me for one hour. Watch and pray that you don't enter into temptation. The spirit is indeed willing, but the flesh is weak. But Jesus has a way of waking us up. The apostle Paul says, but I would not have you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning them which are asleep, that you sorrow not, even as others which have no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and arose again, even so them also which sleep in Jesus, they'll rise, they'll come back, they'll bring him back. That means both those who have died as believers and those who are believers alive, but are caught in some sin that has put them to sleep, so to speak, that made them ineffective in Christ, well, God will bring them back also with him. For this we, we say unto you by the word of the Lord, that we which are alive and remain unto the coming of the Lord shall not prevent them which are asleep. Jesus will wake the believers who have died, literally died, and those believers who are alive that, are, that seem to be asleep in, in the Lord. And it says in 1 Thessalonians 4, 13 through 18, For the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive remain, and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so shall we ever be with the Lord. So comfort you with these words. What type of power is this? Well, it's resurrection power, the thunderous power that created this world, stronger than a hurricane and can be as gentle as a breeze or as falling snow that resurrects those, resurrects those who died believing into a heavenly existence and those who believers alive well also it brings us back what do we what do we wind up doing well we turn around and repent and stop doing what has made us dead or put us to sleep and we're move and we as we come around in Christ's power we get moved from victory unto victory, glory unto glory, as we, are, it, as we are created more and more like Jesus. And hey, folks, it's wonderful, awesome life. Life 
that he gives is really, really good. Life is good, man. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. And for God, who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, that shined into our hearts to give the light of knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. See, one day the trump, trumpet will sound, the light will shine down, the thunder will roll, or the wind will blow, and, and maybe with just a cry out to help for Jesus. He'll show up for those believers who have died in him, and frankly, all who are dead will hear his voice and be raised either to life or to judgment. I want life, and life more abundantly, this side of the grave. And more we're helping, the more we're helping to bring along in his name, the more that we bring with us to heaven, and the bigger our reward. So no worries. In Christ, after you accept him as Savior, there are no worries. It's, it's going to be all right. You will wake up into a new life with such a future, a purposeful life that does involve promises to keep now. We don't look back on those things that we've learned. And we've been given victory over Jesus in. His work on the cross has, has sealed that. It's really best not to look back. That payment for our sins through faith in him, the work is already done with promises to keep. So I woke up and I looked all around. And the whole world was fast asleep. And one day the see the light was streaming down. I promises, oh promises to keep. And I promises, oh promises to keep. This has been Music and Message. This has been Promises to Keep. Thank you for listening. Have a fantastic week.